succeeded with it and so forth. There's also, I don't want to mention any names on this either because I don't mean to embarrass anybody, but uh, another thing going around that you might have seen or heard yourself. Hey, wait a minute, Rush, Rush, wait a minute. Uh, didn't this tax increase originate in the Senate? Didn't the, aren't the taxes in the Obamacare from the Senate and therefore they're unconstitutional? Well, where are we going to go on that? We got to go back to where? The very same court that just said it's okay. So what do we do? Okay, even if that's a valid point. Well, I understand this kind of stuff is going to happen on a day like this. People grasping at straws, trying to look at something, anything grab onto to explain this and to give us some hope that we can reverse this. There is one solution. Remedy, maybe not the word. We have one choice, and that's win elections. Every one of them, folks. That's what we face now. And the first one is this November. With what happened today and the precedent set today, that the government can tax anything, I uh, don't want to scare you by speculating what that could end up meaning in terms of everybody's day-to-day lives. What if Social Security goes bankrupt? And then what if Congress wants to say that your 401k is now part of Social Security in order to bail it out? Just take it. You realize there's not much to stop something like that from happening. Until this is repealed. And even that, the, the, the precedent is still there. Until the court, another court down the road, would reverse this one. Which is not impossible. But it's, it's going to take elections. Because... As my buddy Mark Levin wrote recently in a book, we now live in a post-constitutional country. With Obama, we got post-racial, we got post-partisan, and now we're post-constitutional. The Constitution does not determine... things that happen to this country where it's not a limiting factor any longer. The big government types have always seen it as an obstacle and in two decisions this week we have been we've been shown architecturally the way around it. It's going to require election after election after election. Victory after victory after victory. Now, the 